in today's BON feature. Sylvia Gunawan looks at what China can learn from Dubai's situation and asks whether the Emirates' misfortune could be turned to China's advantage. There may be a valuable lesson China can learn from Dubai, a lesson that could prevent China from facing the same full-blown debt crisis in the future. Last week, the Dubai government asked for a six-month reprieve on repaying its 59 billion U.S. dollar debt, sparking fears of another global financial meltdown. But while many Chinese economists say the Dubai crisis won't have much impact on China's economy, there are still a few areas of concern for one financial expert from Peking University. One is China's red-hot real estate market. The crisis was caused by the real estate sector in Dubai and in China. The price of property is increasing so fast. China should be alarmed by this. A report released on the same day that Dubai announced its debt crisis shows that housing prices in major Chinese cities have hit a record high since the global recession last year. The housing sector saw a 19 percent jump in real estate investment over the first 10 months of this year. Financial analyst Richard Duncan says China, like Dubai, has been supporting economic activities through excessive leverage from financial firms, creating a bubble in the real estate sector. Premier Wen Jiabao also recently said that speculative housing demand should be strictly controlled to ensure the healthy development of the sector. If the expansion rate and the degree of luxury in the real estate industry surpass what the country's economic strength can manage, then the risk is likely to get out of control. Another sector that could create concern is China's banking sector. Three of China's leading banks announced this week they had zero exposure to the Dubai World Project. But according to the Nanfang Daily, several Chinese banks have offered loans, albeit small ones, to Dubai and have been involved since 2000. Though the exact numbers are unknown, Lu says any bonds issued by Dubai World could become bad debt and could have a resulting effect on the bank's overall performance. But all of these concerns seem to pale into insignificance when compared to what could be a golden opportunity amidst the gloom. Some say this is the right time for China to start spending some of its U.S. dollar-denominated foreign exchange reserves and use that to buy oil and gold. It's quite selfish if we say it's a chance for China. If the Dubai world crisis is an opportunity for China, then it's an opportunity for every country. The key is when this opportunity is coming and whether we can catch it. Chinese officials have publicly expressed their intention to diversify away from U.S. dollar assets to reduce potential losses from a depreciating dollar. China's foreign exchange reserve has reached nearly $2.3 trillion, most of it held in U.S. Treasury bonds. A Beijing-based newspaper quotes Ji Xiaonan, who oversees the State Council's State Assets Commission, as saying China should raise its gold reserves to 6,600 tons within three to five years, up six-fold from its current holdings, which account for roughly 2 percent of its foreign exchange reserves. But while the opportunity is here, Lu says the Dubai crisis will only cause short-term fluctuations and not a long-term impact. And he says the crisis won't affect China's thinking on its strategic reserves of gold and oil. The larger question remains then, will the Dubai crisis prompt the Chinese government to reevaluate the direction its real estate market is heading in? The booming sector is often seen as a marker for China's economic recovery, but it could be trouble in disguise. And while the effects of Dubai may not be widely felt, a similar crisis in China would have far-reaching implications. Sylvia Gunawan, BON. That was BON Sylvia Gunawan there. Now, it's interesting that the expert she spoke to did stress that the Dubai world crisis is an individual case which won't cause any fatal effects on China's macro control. So he doesn't really feel Chinese mm -hmm. to worry about it. Uh, it, does, it. And I think it's a view that is shared by many people here, or certain circles here. The fact that so far China has seemed to be relatively isolated. Yeah. While there wasn't, a, well, there was a dip in growth of prices, there was no huge drop as we've seen in the United States, a, in Europe, in fact, across the, the Western world, where people no longer ta talk about uh, putting your money into bricks and mortar because they've seen it disappear. Yeah. However, it, it, there are people who don't agree. Uh, one comment from, uh, in a Chinese daily newspaper paper said a crisis similar to that in Dubai is likely to take place in China and the impact could be much more devastating. Yeah, now, uh, some, uh, he, uh, we have uh, an economist at Renmin University is also weighing in, uh, believes that the US housing market collapsed because of trying to boost its economy with real estate and 
this is something that is happening in yeah. China. The real estate market is getting a lot of money pumped into it. So there is also that chance that it could affect us here. could go on either way, really. Yeah, dangerous situation. Now stay with us. BON News continues with Straight from the Street up next.